Guys, can I grab you? Yes. Oh, put it there. Congratulations. Uh, it's George and Ed, the GSK UK Young Scientists of the Year. How are you feeling after last night? Absolutely ecstatic. I mean, uh, we weren't expecting it really. I mean, we knew that we got into the top five and we saw the celebrity judges. But uh, after uh, we didn't get the winner for the junior one, we thought, well, what's left? So uh, I think uh, it was quite nerve wracking actually, yeah, but so ecstatic. Yeah. And what's happened since last night, since we crowned you yeah. the champ? Well, I mean, we're still slightly, okay, still slightly surreal in a way. But we've had a bit of media interest. We've done a uh, BBC Radio Bristol interview. This Cool. morning telephone interview um, yeah and it's also been kind of a new experience because we're kind of the only ones here we didn't expect to be here um, and it's great fun presenting it to everyone else as well because you're like this is a citizen science project get involved yeah that's what I love about it it's, it's right so the question is all about do birds yes. have a favourite yes. colour yes. uh, talk to me about the project yeah so uh, we, we uh, went about it by using feeders we uh, painted these feeders different colours so as you can see here so uh, um, so we looked at the fundamental colours, like the primary colours, plus greens, and a clear control. And we found that birds frequently went to this blue feeder, and we explored the reasons why. So where is this going to take you? Well, I mean, we've looked at the applications in terms of planes and the colour of planes and the frequency of bird strikes, and we've also seen a massive correlation between uh, 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 bur uh, planes that are coloured blue and um, the, the frequency. There's a huge frequency with uh, planes that are coloured blue. So, I mean, we could look, look into more depth in terms of that. But we also kind of want to bring science to the younger ages because we obviously won this and we were in the junior category. It's quite, it was quite incredible. So we want to bring it to the younger ages to make sure that they get involved. Because it's citizen science, it's, it can be quite easily explained to the younger kids. You can simplify it. Of course, we've gone into massive depth, but if we simplify it, it's quite easy to understand for the younger generation.